So I learn what's up everybody welcome back to screen technicals in the previous video we have discussed about the super base client right now in this video I'm going to show you how can you fetch the data from the super base tables and you can display them on your blog page right so let's go to our VS code right and at this point you're going to close everything this one this one this one this one and this one too right and I'm going to only open the index.js right now to do that we are going to use server side rendering now let me tell you what is server side rendering is first let's go to our browser and search for next.js SSR that is server side rendering right so I'm going to open up this you know this link and click on this data fetching click on this get server side props and just copy this thing now before uh, you know pasting this thing let me tell you what what is the use of this thing right so what what it does actually so actually whenever you know uh, you know a request is made it will it will generate you know the html page that will be sub to the user so if you are creating a small project then this is okay but if your project has millions of uh, you know pages then it is not okay right it can just you know take some time to load so we have other options i will tell you in this series so stay tuned so let's go to our back to our vs code and at this point let's say i'm going to paste this thing right and you know at this point i'm going to you know fetch my data now there is one way you can do that just go to super base click on this api right it will it is you know you know this API section is really very very much helpful right now you, you are going to find this tables and views and here you are going to find your blog post click on this now here you are going to get some of the code snippets that you can use in your code right so it, it actually helps you to you know do the stuff like you know fetching data creating data right now just go down and here you can find this read rows right so just copy this thing right if you go down you're going to find this filtering insert rows everything right insert rows means you can just create a post filtering means you can just filter out the you know a uh, particular post right now just go back we are going to read the post so i'm going to paste this thing at this point just like this and okay it is giving us some error because let's say okay just uh, let me just remove these things the extra spaces then we're gonna see what are the problems with this. So, uh huh. We have this thing. We have this thing. Okay, because of this hyphen, we have to just remove this hyphen. We can just give it underscore block post, and I can just make it as simply let's say post simply, right? And I can pass my post to this right here, posts just like this. Save this thing. Now, in this way, you can just fetch all your posts. So let me sh uh, show you. I'm going to simply log at this point, and I'm going to write here posts. Save this thing, Command J, and let's first refresh our website. So I'm going to refresh it, and it is saying super is not defined. So let's just import it. Click on this. And we have to import manual, right? So right here, import super base from dot dot slash utils slash superbase client just like this save this thing now you're going to find this thing you can see we have our post at this point this is the post the particular you can say it is a list or you can say it is an array right so this is an object so we can you know we can just map this in our you know this thing at this point right i'm going to remove everything from this point and we're going to use the map method of javascript but we have to first get our post at this point so i can just pass the post simply like this and at this point i'm going to you know to write you know to insert javascript you have to just uh, use the curly braces in react right so just write here posts right and so this means if posts exist then i want to you know uh, do the map function so i'm going to write here posts dot map right i'm going to map you know uh, the each and every post and then i'm going to and uh, create an arrow function and size i'm going to return right return give the parenthesis i'm going to return the card 
just like this save this thing and let's you know come to this point and it is hydration just refresh the page once oh so this will work right now yeah now this is working right and i can just remove this console from this point save this thing now if you refresh it and you're going to find only one post right now the part is we have to uh, you know uh, you know show the you know the post title and the post description at this point so what i can do is i can just write here it is similar to the react props right so if you don't know that you don't have to worry it is pretty much very simple let me explain you right here title just like this you can just create your own attribute right or you can say property there is i'm uh, you know i'm just creating a property or attribute called title and i'm going to pass the post dot title now you can find a title at this point you can see the title at this point so it is actually the post and the title right now the similar way i'm going to pass the description so it's going to be post dot description save this thing now just open the card.jsx and here i'm going to you know fetch the title and the description save this thing just like this and now i'm going to you know replace this thing with my title and this thing with my description just like this you know save this thing now you can see this thing now you can see the description is you know uh, just overcome you know it is overflowing from the card so one thing i can do at this point is i can just make it as overflow hidden so you can see now you cannot see but this is not looking so much nice right so one thing we can do is i can just write here dot slice and i want to slice from zero to let's say it is um 30 characters let's see and let's see and you can see this much so let's make it as 100 save this thing so i can just increase it to let's say 200 okay let's make it as so actually in hidden trial method so i can write here 170 and it looks great and i can add a three dot at this point just like this and you can see this thing it looks like this pretty much cool right now in the next video we are going to see when i click on this you know okay okay wait a minute one thing we are lagging at this point that is you know we have to add an image to this so just go to our you know very uh, super base to this point so go to this database now click on this now we're going to create you know a new column let's say image and the type is going to be text just like this save this thing just like this now go to you know go to the you know this storage part of thing and create a new bucket naming it as images and make it as a public bucket right now create the bucket now you can see at this point uh, the bucket has been created click on this now we can add images at this point right so let's upload files let's say i'm uploading this you know this component or this hashtag triple seven this thing or i can just okay just upload this component 6.png or just, oh, just this thing oh no, nothing better than this thumbnail right of my videos so let's say i'm uploading this thing wait a second so you can see finally our image has been uploaded click on this and as our image you know it contains that hashtag i think that 117 it is not showing me the name so let's let's rename it so rename img one let's say hit enter and let's see yeah now it is img one right you can see the name of the image at this point right now go to the uh, you know the, go to the tables click on this blog post and i'm going to you know add an image so i'm going to add a name that is img one dot png right so you have to just give the name of your image at this point and you can see it has been saved now go to the index.js and i'm going to pass that image name so right here image you know uh, is equals to it's going to be post dot image save this thing now go to the card.jsx at this point i'm going to fetch the image name just like this and then we need the url of that image so i'm going to write here 
so what we can do at this point is i can just you know fetch the image url using superbase so i can write here data and it's going to be image underscore url and it's going to be you know superbase just like this dot it's going to be superbase dot um it's going to be storage dot from this from and it's going to be images that is the name of that bucket and dot get public url and here we are going to pass the image name just like this and you know it's giving us just like this so i think it is going to i have just uh, simply write here image underscore url and i can write here const and data okay we are just missing out that const at this point so i can just make it as just like this i hope so now let me just log the image it's right here image underscore url save this thing let's come here refresh it and it is saying superbiz url is required so i don't know what is happening to this so in the environment variable we have the superbiz url so just con press control so you can see we are, we are finding it is saying it is giving us undefined so just press control c right here clear yarn dev we have the super base url if i come to this point we have the super base url defined so there is nothing wrong with this and it is giving us this undefined okay just come to this point let's say so why it is giving us this thing super base create client super base url okay i got the thing so just come to this point let's say i'm just you know making this a comment save this thing now come to this point and let's refresh it and still we're, and still we are getting this error and i don't know what is happening to this const anon key process env super base and public anon key yeah so why it is not getting it if i come to this point again i can just open this thing i have the anon key and it is saying super base url is undefined so let's say i'm coming to this point um just let's copy this thing let's see uh, we'll fix that thing right so open this thing and let's say i'm passing this thing just like this and we're going to change that thing now super base key is required so it is unable to fetch i hope so the you know the environment variable so we're going to see what is happening with that so let me just copy this thing and just remove this paste it at this point save this thing now it's working right now so we'll fix it later on right so let's try to make it just like this and if i write here let's say simply img1 save this now I come to this point refresh the page let's see i'm getting the image so we have to just remove the dot png from the image name so just remove this png from this we have just write the name of that and it is changed right now at this point i can now pass the image just like this and let's refresh it again and hopefully we're getting the uh, okay is saying again undefined so let's go to this index.js sort of thing and it is post.image so let's say um i want to log this thing so i can just come to this point i can just log the post just like this come to this point refresh it and then let's see command just you know right click inspect and just close this thing console and we are getting an object warning each child in a list should have a unique key so just first give the key to this so come to this point right here key 
and it's going to be post dot id save this thing and just refresh it again hopefully this issue has been solved yeah now i'm getting you can say the this thing it has the you know image as img1 so if i write here dot image just like this then i am getting the img1 sort of thing okay we have just missed out the spelling at this point it should be image save this thing now remove this log from this point go to the card.jsx and here i can just pass the image and hopefully we can get just refresh it and let's see we got the image link right now if i click on this link navigate and you can you're going to find that image at this point you can see the image at this point right so what i, I can do I, I can do is like so we have to just do our you know uh, remove the this this thing and i've tried here image underscore url dot public you know url save this thing and let's come to this point and just refresh the page let's see now it is you know invalid source prop now let's say it is you know public url so it is public url so if i write here dot public url and let's say if i'm just commenting this out for for right now and come to this part and let's refresh the page and you can see this one we are getting you can see this you know this image url so i'll just pass the image url here but we cannot do in this image so i can just do one thing i can just add the simple image thing and i can write here um it's going to be the image underscore url dot public url save this thing and just refresh it and let's see again and you can see the image at this point we have successfully passed our image at this point now one thing i can do is so i'm going to be removing this thing and in the future also we have to just remove that thing because you know uh when because in the future we are going to use static set generation and that image can do some problems so we, we have to use the simple image type right so now you can see this thing and one thing i can do at this point is um this is actually this thing and this is 30 vh so i can just remove this to i can make it as auto save this thing and it comes just like this i can just give it you know some margin bottom of 5 okay let's make it as 10 looks great and one thing i can do is i can just make it as say 6 and i can increase this to 2 xl and make it as let's say 3 xl and it looks great right now right so we have successfully you know passed our images and we have created you know our blog post now in the next video we are going to see about static site generation that is ssg and in that video we are going to see how can we you know uh when i click on this it should uh, show me just like this slash let's say posts slash the what is whatever the post you know the i'm going to pass the just like this those this is going to be the slug so whatever maybe the slug we are going to pass the slug at this point and we are going to show that particular post so this will be our task in the next video so thanks for watching this video guys and i will see you next time